In this video, we will learn how to return 202 status code from ASP.NET Core Web API Controller Action Method. Uh, right click on this controller base class, go to definition, here yeah, scroll down, see here we have accepted method. Uh, let's see the summary of this method. So create a Microsoft ASP.NET Core.MVC.accepted result object that produces an 202 status code. So it will return 202 status code. We can use this method to return 202 status code from our ASP.NET Core Web API application. Here we have six methods with this accepted method name. First method, first parameter is URI, second parameter is object. In the second method, we can pass string URI and object. This third method pass only URI. Fourth method takes only one parameter object. This fifth method doesn't take any parameters. Using this sixth method, we can pass only string URI. Now we will use this accepted method in our animals controller. Okay. In, in this controller, we can add one more action method. So copy this and paste it below that. Change the method name, get wild animals. Then change the animal name also, lion and then tiger. Now let's add route for both these methods. So route will be for this method by default. For the second method, we can use wild. See the base route here. First, we have to append API, then controller name. And for the second method, we have to append this wild text. Okay, now um, we are going to use accepted method. So replace this OK method with accepted. Okay, now save and run this app. Navigate to the URL, API, animals, and then wild. Press enter. Here we got the output. Now let's see the status code of this method. Click network tab. Here again refresh this page. Here we have 202 status code. Click this wide wild here. Request method is get status code is 202. Okay, now go back to Visual Studio. Now we are using this get wild animals method. If you want to return some data from this method, uh, you can do this in three ways. First method is we can pass proper action method. Okay, now you are change this. Use till symbol then animals. So we can access this first method using this URL. Okay, let's see. Run this app. Here, refresh this page. Here, we got the same status code 202. Click the wild link here. Request method get status code 202. See in the response header, we have location. So here we have the URL. Uh, that uh, we are returning from API. Now, the second method is uh, accepted action method. Stop the execution. Go to controller base class. Here we have accepted action method. In this method, no need to pass outcoded URL as we did earlier. So we can get the URL from already created action method. Now, go to the animals controller. Here change the method name accepted at action. Here name of the action method. So copy this method name and paste it here. Okay, that's it. Save and run this app again. Reload this page. Uh, here we got the same status code 202. Now, see in the response header, 
in location we have exact url of get animals action method now let's understand about third method go back to visual studio stop the execution in controller base class we have accepted at route method okay if you are working with asp.net core uh, web application we can give name to the url so we can use name parameter in route attribute so go to the animals controller here we can use name let's say all save now um, we can call this route by using this name all so replace here here change the method accepted at route now save and run this app here reload this page again we got the same status code click this wild see here we have the exact url of this uh, first method okay we can use any one of the method accepted or accepted at action and accepted at route as per the need of your project i hope you understand this um, video how to return 202 status code in asp.net core web api application thanks for watching this video